Hello everybody, in this video I will show you how easy it is to add automatic currency conversion to your ALVs. Quite often ALVs contain prices, amounts in different currencies. If the standard transaction does not offer you a field with a value converted to a common currency, you cannot add up the amounts. ALV Enhancer offers a surprisingly easy way to solve this problem. I will use MM60 to demo this. MM60 is one of the most frequently used uh, standard SAP transactions that display you a list of materials based on your selection criteria. Let me choose a variant and execute. Here we go. As you can see, MM60 offers you only one single price field and different currencies. So if you add that up, prices are summed up per currency so actually you cannot have a grand total unless you have a LV enhancer so I will very quickly add a LV enhancer to this report using this special transaction code I turn administrator mode on and execute the transaction again select my variant again press execute and here we go. There is a new button on the toolbar that I can use to set up the data source settings. Everything's fine. I will add one extra feature to add row level logging for uh, error handling. I'll explain that to you later. So I press save. And as you can see, the ALV enhancer button appears here. So I will now add a new field with a common currency. I press the ALV Enhancer button, select Field Catalog Extension. This screen contains all the fields of the ALV. I select the Price field, press this button to add the new field, and I select Currency Conversion. New field is added right next to the Price field. This little icon indicates that this is a special field containing a converted amount. You can set up a default target currency in customizing, which is euros now. All right, now I press this little button here to only show currency conversion fields and hide all the rest. There are four important fields for a currency conversion. The first one is obviously the amount field that I want to convert. This is the price. The next one is the ref uh, currency reference which is automatically filled now. The third one is the date of the conversion. Let's use the system date now. This field will be used uh, when accessing the database table of the exchange rates that ALV Enhancer will read automatically. So finally define the target currency. Let's make it USD. And as you can see the field name and description is uh, adjusted automatically. That's it. Let's press save. And there you go. Here is the new field price in USD. And uh, actually now you can have a grand total a bit more than quarter million US dollars. Okay, that's nice. Obviously exchange rates must be available in the system for this to work. If some are missing, ALV Enhancer adds error messages to its log. You can display the whole log using, using this toolbar button. As you can see, here are all the uh, problems that occurred during the uh, currency conversion. The little checkbox that I ticked uh, when setting up the data source settings uh, is actually controlling if this field appears or not. This is the row level logging feature of ALV Enhancer. A red little icon is added to each row where there was any kind of error. So let me press this and see. You can only see now the uh, error messages relevant for the selected record. Okay so what is the problem? The exchange rate from EGP to USD was not found for this date. Okay. Uh, what is EGP? 
Mm, F4, oh no, there's no search app. So what we can do is use AIV Enhancer to display the text. You have two options. One is the context menu, just simply press this button, display text. And now, okay, it's Egyptian pound. Great. The other option is that you add a text field. So you just go to field catalog extension, select the currency. Here you have a column, read text. You simply check that checkbox. New text field is added to the field catalog. Press save, and there you go. Here we have the text for the currencies. Easy, isn't it? Okay, it took about three minutes to add this currency conversion. How long would it take without ALV Enhancer? Maybe a day? Finding a suitable user exit or enhancement point, doing the implementation, testing, and so on. If you work at a big multinational company, this takes even more time. The end user tells the business analyst that he or she needs this new field. The analyst writes a functional design. It gets approved and is sent to the development department. There it is scheduled. Resources are assigned. The development is done. Documentation is written. Then the business analyst makes a test. The basis team moves the development into production. So it may take a long, long time. Especially if people are on holidays and so on. This requirement can be simply fulfilled by the end user himself if you use ALV Enhancer. There's no need to contact the development department at all. So, that was it. This is how automatic currency conversions work with ALV Enhancer. I hope you like this video. Please share it if you did. And there are more videos in our YouTube channel or uh, on our website sta-technologies.com. Thank you for watching. Have a nice day.